Hey people. Wanted to make a short video. Actually, pardon my adjustment here. I wanted to make a quick video um, about some things in the arts going on in April. And the reason I decided to do this is because I had been asked a couple times, which is fine. By all means, ask me if I know anything that's going on. But I was just like constantly repeating myself and searching through my uh, email history. And I've got a major product launch this week. So it's just like. <coughs> I can't do that and this and work. So I was just like, let me just put everything together, what my personal recommendations are um, for people who are seasoned and not seasoned. Um, so let's see, I've got the websites up so I can make sure I don't forget anything when I tell you. I will include the links for all of these if you do end up wanting to check it out more or whatever. First one um, is at Center for the Arts, which is on the Fairfax George Mason campus. Um, Virginia Opera is going to be performing Puccini's uh, Madame Butterfly. Uh, I will be buying my tickets for that one. I love Madame Butterfly, and if you have not seen uh, the Virginia Opera, they're great. They are fantastic, and the price. And I don't know about anywhere else where they perform, but their price at uh, Center for the Arts is fantastic. You just can't go wrong. And um, I have yet to find a bad seat, honestly, um, in Center of the Arts. So I highly recommend it. If you've never seen um, Virginia Opera or if you've never been to an opera, I highly recommend this. This is a pretty good first one second one, which is not actually a performance or anything, but it's just uh, Arts Advocacy Day. I People need to support. Unfortunately, like so many other things in this country, we think there's just this magic wand and that <laughs> the Virginia Opera and George Mason Center for the Arts just pulled this wad of cash out their butt cracks and they can just put these great performances together and present things. No, they need funding. And um, Arts Advocacy Day is a major day that people travel from all over the world to get together as art supporters, artists, managers, arts managers, arts, um, I almost said budgeters. <laughs> CEOs, etc. You know, they get together and go to the hill and advocate for the arts. So your support is definitely needed. Please check out the link and see any anything you can do. Doesn't even mean that you have to go down there, but you know what? Just being aware that's the first step. So I appreciate you taking that first step. Then the next one, which um, I actually totally forgot about, only because of my product launch is <laughs> it's cherry blossom season. Yeah, I've got cherry blossoms on my shirt too. <laughs> I just realized that. Special, you already know this. Um, get cherry blossoms start this week. Um, and yes, I do consider this part of an art thing specifically because they perform, they, they encompass so they've got the performance that's such an integral thing to the culture of Japan. Um, it's also, you will find things in art galleries. Um, there are stages um, down at the mall around a couple that are near some of the monuments. There's really something for everything, adults, children, young, old, black, white whatever. Um, so definitely check out the Cherry Blossom Festival, especially if you have lived here and have never participated. You should be ashamed. Next one is um, the Virginia Arts Festival. I had actually never heard of this, um, which is kind of sad. But um, I'm guessing the reason why is because most of it takes place in Southern Virginia. Um, but <laughs> Some of you guys know my history, so then it's like, hmm, you should still know about that. Um, it's great. It actually is about seven to eight weeks long, but it starts mid-April. I want to say it's either the 15th or 16th. Um, again, it's theater, it's film, it's music, it's 
dance. It's all of it. And it's in different cities, too. So, you know, in Virginia Beach, in Norfolk, in Newport News, all around that area, they've got all different kinds of performances. So I may be even taking a road trip, um, especially once it starts getting a little warmer um, in May. So keep that on your radar. Um, let's see. Next one. I do have a cheat sheet, so. Oh, this one. Okay, so first off, I'm going to preface this one with a shut up. It is a gala. It's a collaborative gala at the French Embassy. But it's not why it's on this list. It's on this list because it's a fundraiser gala um, for arts education for D.C. youth. Um, it's for the kids. I don't. I don't care what embassy is that. It's genuinely for our local kids who need it. So definitely check that out. Ticket price is not that bad. Um, I don't think I told you a date. April 8th. Um, so I backtracked. My bad. But anyways, um, it's great. Ticket price is uh, $75 for an individual. Um, the premium, our VIP, is 125 and you get a very nice goodie bag. And then the one that, like, stumped me, like, 15 minutes of, like, researching this thing. Like, what the hell is this? Slow Art Day. Slow Art Day. <laughs> after finally finding their website, after it kept being linked from one thing to the other, it actually makes sense. And, um... This one I would push for the most if you were somebody who was like, ooh, art, four-letter word. Um, what, it, what the whole point is, is for those people who um, have what I call the I don't get it-itis, or um, have just really had like a traumatic um, museum or visual arts museum or gallery experience, where you are just walking through the museum and then the next thing you know is lunch. You have no clue what you just looked at, why you looked at it, the, the point of anything you looked at. Like, you just, you don't get it. You were there, but like, whew. So, in a nutshell, what they do on Art Slow Day is you're in small groups, you look at a piece for like five or ten minutes, and then you move on to the next piece, five to ten minutes, etc etc and then you get together um, you eat lunch together and you discuss what what you saw what you um, felt what you didn't feel what you didn't think you saw what you wish you saw all of this stuff now the thing that I love most about this is because it's not just like with your family and friends um, it's not with that art Nazi, and yes, I use that word constantly because there are art Nazis um, where they feel as though you do have to get it. That's a whole nother spiel, but there is no it. It is about you and the, the work of art that is hanging on the wall. Yes, there typically is a message. That's why most people do express themselves through art. But when it's hanging up there like that, and when you are interacting, and yes, you being there looking at it, that is considered an interaction. Um, it is, it's just about what you feel, what you got, what you thought, what message you got. So that's why I love this one. Check it out. Again, Art Slow Day, or Slow Art Day, excuse me. And I want to say that one's the 16th. Um, let's see. And then the last one that I want to mention, what actually, it's actually not scheduled, which sucks. It's um, the Human Rights Arts Festival, Art Festival, but it should be Arts Festival because it does include everything, music, dance, children, workshops, paint, everything under the sun. Um, it was the end of last April, excuse me, there's something in my eye. Um, it was last April last year, um, but it has not been scheduled for 2010. 2010. 2010. 2010. 2010. And I'm not quite sure why, but it really um, was amazing. 
amazing, 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 um, not just festival, but, um, there's a word that I can't think of along the lines of advocacy, but awareness, bringing up awareness, um, of those things that we take for granted in this country, your water, your tap water, you know, things like that, that you could send a postcard to whoever you want, um, that you, <laughs> you can tie shoes, that you, you can go to the store and buy a book, you know, all, all these little things that we just take for granted, if this was a great way to, to bring that awareness back up, so just keep your eyes open for that one. I think I did say it was in Silver Spring last year, but it kind of like encompassed that whole area, uh, that borderline of Montgomery County, Southern Montgomery County, um, and it was for three days, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Very good. I highly recommend that one. Um, okay, well, I, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully I'll see you at Madame Butterfly. If I, if you do decide to take part of any of these things, let me know. Um, not I'm trying to go with you, I would, but I just, I like hearing what people, um, participate in and what they think and, um, their take on it, um, especially if you are not someone who regularly, regularly participates in the arts, um, I love hearing that, that kind of feedback because obviously that is where my heart lies, um, so I'm kind of biased for the summer. <laughs> like 99.999% of this stuff. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.